This is Casey Campbell with G1 NBC Sports. We're down here at the uh, Chevrolet Detroit Bell Isle Grand Prix. I'm here with uh, second place finisher Dane Cameron. Uh, Dane, uh, talk about the race today and uh, overall takeaways from it. Yeah, a uh, tricky race for sure. Nice to be, uh, nice to be P2. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, came up just uh, just a little bit, a little bit short. Uh, I was. A few mile race, which is not really typical for IMSA races, and uh, we had a couple of different choices, and it seems like we chose uh, slightly wrong there a little bit on, uh, on what we decided to do. But uh, we had a super quick uh, wheel and Cadillac all weekend, and uh, probably the best car we've had for for a long while yet. So pretty happy with that, and uh, we'll take a podium any day. And uh, I think we're getting closer and closer every weekend. So uh, maybe uh, where we go next, uh, Watkins Glen. I guess maybe that'll be the next one. And Eric, how did you think the car went for you guys? You drove the first part of the race. Um, you guys, you guys were about second and third in the pack. Uh, how'd you think you did out there? Uh, I mean, I think we had a pretty solid run, really. I mean, our wheel and Cadillac was strong all day, and uh, had a good battle with uh, the yellow car in the beginning there, and um, fought back and forth, ended up getting by him for second place, and uh, chased down our five car, our teammates, and uh, had a good pit stop. Put Dane in the car. Dane went out to the lead and, and ran a lead for quite a while, and. Uh, we kind of gambled a bit on fuel strategy when we we're going to pit, and maybe it didn't quite work out as expected. But you know, still second place, and it's good for points. And you know, uh, overall, we're pretty happy. Uh, we're ready for the top step of the podium here soon, but uh, we can taste it, so we're real close. All right, all right, Eric. Thank you very much. Thank you.